Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. In the last video we discussed, we learned how to install the WordPress website on your computer. So instead of uh, installing the WordPress website on actual server or on the actual domain, you can install it on your computer so that you can play with the settings of the WordPress. You can play with the different themes, plugins, and you can start learning how to work with the WordPress website. Those who have uh, missed my last video, you can click on the link in the top right corner and watch that video. Those who are watching my videos for the first time, check out the playlist on my YouTube channel. You will find free YouTube video courses. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will get instant notification whenever I publish new free YouTube video course or new video tutorial. Now in this video, we will discuss, we will learn the WordPress dashboard. The dashboard is the place where you can control, you can manage your website. This is the place from where you can add pages, you can add new posts to your website, images, gallery, you can change theme, plugins, everything you can manage from this place. And this is called as the WordPress dashboard. So right now, uh, when we install the default WordPress, uh, you see this kind of website is here. This is the header section of the website. This is the main content of the home page. Uh, you can see this is one of the blog posts showing on the home page, on the main page of the WordPress website. Basically, the default setting of the WordPress is the blog post. So it will show the blog post on the front page of your website. And this is the footer section of the website. Now let's log into the website to the local WordPress website. Now this is the link to the local WordPress website, localhost slash WordPress. After that, you can add wp-admin or you can add wp-login.php or you can also try using simply login. So it will go to login page, enter the username and password that you set up for the uh, WordPress dashboard. So this is the username and password that you set up while installing the WordPress. Click login and we will be on the dashboard of this website. Now you can see different tabs are here, Dif uh, the different settings are here. Now if you can click on it and it will show you visit website. You can right click on it and click on open link in new tab and you will see the current website. The WordPress website is here. Now this tab under dashboard, you will see home. This is the home. Now when you click on update, it will show you if there is any update available for any theme or any plugin that you are using on your website. Now this is the section post. Okay. So basically WordPress uses post and pages uh, as a separate content. Page is basically a type of static content on your page, on your website, such as home page, about page, contact page, where you are you're not going to add different posts on it. And post is a kind of uh, blog blog post or the uh, mostly used for the blogs, and they are uh, separated by categories and tags. Let me show you how does this work uh, on one of my website. Now you can see this is a static home page and on the home page I have these articles or you can see or you can say a blog post. So all these articles are uh, showing on this home page of my website. If I add a new article or blog post, it will get automatically added to uh, this section of this uh, website and it will scroll down. Uh, this one will change the place and the new post will be added here. So this is how the page is different than post. You can see other pages here, the SEO page. And on this page, I have set up uh, different uh, blog posts related to SEO tools. So uh, on my website, I have some articles which are categorized by SEO tools, email marketing, social media marketing, and other tips. So they are these all posts are categorized and and particularly this SEO tools category post will be shown on this page itself. Now you can see here contact me page. This is a static page. It's not going to change the location or it's not going to change the position on the website. So pages are different than the blog post. 
okay now from this uh, you can add new post and you can create new categories right now there is no category specified because this is a new installation and the tags also are here okay now you can see uh, only one post is listed on this uh, new installation now let's go to media media is nothing but uh, images and documents that you are going to upload to your website so if you upload any image it will go to the media section of uh, this website and it will be saved in the database also if you click on click on add new you can you will see an option to select the files and upload it to the website now this is the section pages okay here you can add new pages such as about contact home page basically the home page of the wordpress website is set up uh, for the blog post now we are going to change it and we, we are going to customize the home page so instead of only showing the blog post on the front page of your website we will customize it and we will make it different and we will uh, create a new blog page where all the blog posts will be uh, listed okay now you here you can see uh, posts have categories and tags but pages do not have anything uh, as categories okay comments this is the section where from where you can manage the comments uh, on your website so people would like to comment on your blog post so here you can uh, approve the comment or you can delete the comment or you can mark them as spam now appearance under appearance uh, you can see the themes of your website right now it is set to the default 2021 uh, theme that comes with the wordpress itself here is another theme and 2019 this one is 2020 now if you want to add more themes you can simply click on add new and here you will see different themes that you can choose from these are the free themes okay now if, before choosing any theme just make sure that you're going to you're choosing the right theme because uh, it happens many times uh, that you go for a free theme and you won't be able to edit the layout of the theme there are many limitations to the layout of the theme so what i use i go for the free theme i always use free theme along with the free web page builder so i mostly use hello elementor theme this is a free this is actually a free theme basically the hello elementor is very good theme uh, it comes with the free web page builder that is elementor plugin in the coming videos i'll show you how to use the elementor theme and how to use the elementor web page builder also okay now this is the customized section okay this is how the website looks this is the header this is the content and this is the footer of your website site identity this is basically the name of your website right now i have it set up for my local wordpress website you can change it to anything this will be the name of the website and this is the tagline okay now right now we do not have any logo created so it is just showing me the name of the website the site title and the tagline here okay so this is what the uh, what we have checked so if i uncheck it it will disappear from the header if i check it you will see it here again now uh, this is how the menu bar will look so this is the navigation menu right now we have not created any menu in the coming videos i'll show you how to create beautiful header section as well as the footer section also and we are going to change the home page layout also we are going to discuss everything about wordpress website in this uh, wordpress tutorial series okay now this is the icon select site icon now here you see this this icon this small blue icon this is called as favicon and you can change this icon here you can click on it and select upload the icon here right now you can see on one of my website this ftp icon is here so this is how you can select and change this icon here okay now the colors right now it shows the background color is this one if i go ahead and change it will change the color like this okay this is the background color of the website now we are going to change this theme so so don't worry about this uh, background color also we are going to change this theme the free theme this is the background image if you want to change the background to image you can select it and change the background 
menus right now we have not created any menu this is the custom or you can say uh, the primary menu is showing there we are going to edit the menu also after creating new pages we will be adding menu pages also these are the widgets from here you can change or add or uh, change widget settings home page settings right now the website is set to uh, the default settings of showing only the blog post on the home page we have not created the blog pages or the home pages yet okay now this is what uh, this is where you can uh, add custom css if you want to make style changes you can edit or you can enter the css code here also okay so this is all about the customize option now let's go to widgets you can see widgets here uh, this is the footer widget you can see search recent post and recent commits now you will see it here search recent post and recent commits now this is basically because of on the theme we are using it only has the footer section and uh, whenever when we will change this to some other free theme you will see other options here also sidebar options will be there also now these are the available widgets there are many widgets you can choose from so one by one we will go through all the widgets in the coming videos now the menus now right now we do not have any menu created here so we are going to create a menu which will be shown here at the top in the header section in the coming videos you know the background that was the color now this is the theme editor right now the 2021 theme is selected and you will see these are the files of the theme from where you can change the color or specific uh, style of the theme manually so if you want to change the settings of the theme manually then you can change them here also but you need to know the coding the php coding this is the header from here you can if you want to add any script to the header you can co simply come here and enter the heading code here sometimes you need to uh, add some codes uh, in the header section of your website so here you can enter the code manually here you, this is the footer you can if you want to enter code into the footer section you can enter here also okay this is how you can edit the theme manually now plugins now plugins is going to be the important uh, part of your wordpress website design because uh, you will need to install different plugins so that you can make uh, changes to your website let me show you how does this work click on add new now if you want to add a form the contact form on your website then you will need to add a contact form plugin now here are some free plugins you can see a list of plugins there will, there are hundreds and thousands of plugins that you can use on wordpress website now let me try with the form plugin let me show you how does this work okay here is the form you can enter or you can search here now this is one of the contact form 7 caldera forms so let's try this one i'm just going to show you how does this work i'm i have chosen this form click on install now it's going to install the form plugin on your website it is installed now click on activate now what we have done we have installed one of the plugin and you will see whenever you install the plugin you will see that plugin option here so this is how the calendar forms plugin option is here from here you can add new forms or make changes you can add settings you can create new forms so this is how the plugins works and plugins are going to be very important part of your <coughs> wordpress website design now this is the user section right now we have only one user that is the admin this is the uh, administrator of your website and you can add many users and you can assign them different roles if you want you can just add them as a moderator you can add them as editor okay here is an option to edit now tools let's check it here import now if you blogger these are different tools that you can use 
you can see blogger if you if you have blogger website you can import the blogger pages post everything from blogger website to this uh, wordpress website now categories tags so these are the different tools uh, we never use this basically if you are very advanced then you are going to use it now let's see the settings now you see this is the site title and this is the tagline that we saw in the customized section now this is the email address and this is the website url okay now here you can say you can change the settings of your website the date format the time format now let's go to writing you can see the different settings here also basically you are not going to use these settings a lot now this is the reading settings right now it is you can see the home page displays your latest post okay now when when we are going to create pages we are going to create home page and then we are going to change this to static page to home page okay and the blog page we are going to create a separate blog page for your website and we will assign it here also okay nav discussion now here are the uh, settings of the discussion if someone comments you can uh, let the people to comment on your blog post if you want you can disable the comments you can see the settings here anyone post a comment a comment is held for moderation so these are the settings for the comments the media settings are here permalink permalink settings are here now let's change it to post name okay and click save changes so we have changed the perma permalink settings to post name and click on save settings now so this is uh, all about the dashboard and in the coming videos we will learn more about how to change the settings uh, through the dashboard how to install themes how to install plugins and how to create beautiful website in the coming videos so so thanks for watching do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video Thanks for watching Quick Tips.